Today we are going to discuss about fixed point two's multiplication. It is also called as Boots multiplication. Fixed point two's complement multiplication. Two's complement multiplication. It is also called as Boots multiplication. Okay. Now here in Boots notation, how we are going to do all these things means when we when we are going for Boots notation means example if we are having two's complement number. Two's complement numbers we are going to use mostly in the negative numbers. For example, if you are having a into b, now in this a into b, either a or b values are having any negative values, or we are going to use some two's complement notation to represent that negative numbers. Now, how we are going to represent these negative numbers in multiplication with the help of Boots notation? Now, in Boots notation, how we are going to do means first of all, we all knows that if it is a and b. multiplication now a is called as multiplicand and b is called as multiplier now how many times we are going to multiply a and b means we are depending upon the number of bits of b value suppose if a and b is having now if a is having 101 and b is having 001 now how many times we have to multiply means based on the number of bits present in the multiplier if so we are going to maintain the number of bits in the multiplier as count value if i am having the count value as 3 so i have to perform the operation three number of times means until the count value reach it from 0 to 3 to 0 i have to repeat the process now first of all i will explain the, the algorithm now see here this is the basic algorithm now first i told you for each and every multiplication operation it will be having multiplicand and multiplier multiplicand and multiplier multiplicand will be represented by m and multiplier will be represented by q okay this is multiplicand and this is multiplier now multiplicand bits will be suppose in multiplicand it is having n bits okay and it is having n number of bits okay now based on the number of bits present in the multiplier we are going to do the operation so the number of bits present in the multiplier will be kept in q okay the count value will be kept as number of bits present in the multiplier suppose if q is having n bits so we are going to perform the count value as 3 so next initially the a value will be set to 0 and q minus 1 value will be set to 0 and i told you already count value is called as n n is the number of bits present in multiplier now and you assume that q is having n bits so the count value will be n means we have to perform the operation up to count value reached from n to 0 now one more important point here we are going to discuss about the values of q0 and q1 now here the question is what is the value of q0 and what is the value of q-1 initially q-1 value is set to 0 and q what is the meaning of q0 suppose i told you q is called as multiplier q is called as multiplier assume that q is 101 now this is called as q0 this is called as q1 and this is called as q2 now what is the value of q0 here 1 okay now value of q0 is the value of q0 is 1 and what is the value of q minus 1 initially it is 0 now based on this q0 and q-1 we are going to check the condition if now presently here q0 is 1 and q-1 is 0 so if it is 1 0 we are going to perform a tends to a minus m operation similarly if q0 value is 0 and q-1 value is 1 we are going to perform a tends to a plus m operation apart from this if we are having q0 value as 0 0 or 0 0 or 1 1 we are going to perform only arithmetic right shift and we are going to decrement the count value okay now simply i will conclude this one suppose q not value and q minus 1 value if it is having 0 1 and 1 0 we are going to perform three steps what are the three steps means the first step is we are going to perform a minus m for 1 0 operation and a plus m for 0 a plus m for 0 1 operation this is the first step next we are going to perform arithmetic right shift and we are going to reduce the count value 
This is the basic algorithm. Okay. Now I will take one basic example and I will explain. If I want to perform minus 5 into 3. Okay. Minus 5 into 3. Answer is minus 15. Okay. Symbolically it will be written as minus 5 into plus 3. So the value will be written as minus 15. Okay. This is called as multiplicand. Multiplicand and this is called as multiplier. Okay. Now I told you the value of multiplicand will be represented by m and multiplier will be represented by q. First initial step is you should know what is the value of m and what is the value of q and what is the value of minus m. Okay. First I will tell you what is the value of m. m initially they have given as what is m initially minus 5. How to write minus 5? 2's complement of minus 5. I will tell you the shortcut to find out how to write the 2's complement of minus 5. Now initially you know what is the meaning of 5. For 5 which is the nearest to 2 to the power of 8. So 8 minus 5. So first you keep in the bit of 1, in the 8 bit 1 and 8 minus 5 3. So the value of minus 5 is this one. Okay. Next cube is plus 3. Plus 3 can be written as q is equal to plus 3. Plus 3 can be written as 0, double 1. Okay. Next, minus minus m. Minus m is nothing but 2's complement of m. Okay. 2's complement of m means 0 will be, first you have to do 1's complement. Next, you are going to do add 1. So, you are going to get 1, 0, 1, 0. So, this is the 2's complement of, this is called as 2's complement of m. After finding all these things, this is the first step. If answer got wrong in m and q and minus m, the entire answer will go wrong. Now, the next step is you should do all these steps. Initially, what is the count value? Count value is number of bits present in the multiplier. Now, multiplier how many bits are present means how many bits are present here? Here, 3 bits are present. So, what will be the value of count? So, initially the value of count will be equal to 3. Next, I told you initially the value of A will be set to 0. Now, how many number of zeros we have to keep means number of bits present in the multiplicand. In multiplicand, how many zeros are in multiplicand, how many bits are present means m value is equal to 5. So, how many bits are present means 5, 4. So, we have to keep, sorry, we have to keep 4 bits, 4 bits 0. Next, the value of A is completed. Next, value of Q. What is the value of Q? Q is plus 3. So, what is the value of plus 3 means 0, double 1. So, the value of Q is equal to 0, 0, double 1. Now, after this, we should know what is the value of Q minus 1. Initially, Q minus 1, I told you, it will be set to 0. Now, what is the operation we are going to do? Here, Q naught and Q minus 1. This is called as Q naught. This is called as Q1. And this is called as Q2. Okay. Now, what is there in Q naught? Q naught, it is having 1. And q minus 1, it is having 0. If I am having 1, 0, what is the operation I have to perform? If I am having 1, 0, what is the operation I have to perform means, if you see here, if you see the algorithm, you are going to have, if I am having, if I am having 1, 0, I have to perform 3 steps. One is a tends to a minus, a minus m, arithmetic right shift of a, q and minus m, and count value should be decremented. Now, we have to perform 3 operations. The operation is, a tends to a minus m and this is the first operation next we have to perform arithmetic right shift for the values a q and q minus 1 next the last step is count i have to decrement count value should be decrement now first i will perform this operation okay initially the value of a will be set to 0 so initially a value is set to 0 and what is the value of m m value will be based on multiply multiplicand what is the value of m m value is 1 0 double 1 now here what are the operations we have to perform a minus m a minus m means what is the value of minus m minus 1 value is 0 1 0 1 0 okay so 0 1 0 1 so i will perform addition operation 1 0 1 0 so the result is a will be having a will be having 0 1 0 1 
just write down the value of a the value of a will be 0 1 0 1 next what is the value of q q value will be this one and what is the value of this q minus 1 this one so i have to perform the arithmetic right shift operations for these three things okay so i will show you how to perform arithmetic right of right shift operations 0 1 0 1 this is a and this is q q value is 0 double 1 and q and q minus 1 value is 0 and q minus 1 value is 0 okay now we have to perform arithmetic right shift operations for these things okay how to do arithmetic right shift operation means first of all the LS, msb is 0 whatever thing is there in the msb you just copy down this one now i have to perform right shift operation right shift operation means 0 will come here 0 and this one will come here and this 0 will come here and this 1 will come here 1 like this similarly you have to proceed 0 double 1 double 1 now what is the value of a presently now value of a is double 0 1 0 okay just write down the value now the double 0 1 0 next what is the value of q 1 0 1 the value of q is 1 0 1 and what is the value of q minus 1 1 and what is the last step i have to reduce the count minus 1 value so i will reduce the count minus 1 value the count minus 1 value will be reduced to 2 now same concept now what is the value of in what is the value of q naught 1 and what is the value of q minus 1 1 so you write down the values now if i am having 1 1 the operation i have to perform means if I am having 1 1 means just I have to perform 2 steps. I have to perform arithmetic right shift and I have to perform count value minus 1. Do this operation. So, how to protect the first step? I have to perform arithmetic right shift. Right shift can be done as 0 will come here 0, 0, 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, 1. Now, after that count value will be reduced. So, it will be 1. Now, what is the value of Q0? Q naught value is 0 and what is the value of Q minus 1? 1. Now if I am having 1 0 what I have to do means I have to perform A tends to A plus M. Next I have to perform arithmetic right shift operation. Next I have to perform count minus 1 value. Now first step is A plus M. So we will do it in rough. Okay. A plus M. How to now presently what is the value of A? What is the present value of A? just to see here the value of a will be double zero triple zero one okay you just write down the value of a the value of a is triple zero one and what is the value of m one zero double one one zero one zero double one now just perform arithmetic operation one plus one zero one plus one zero one is the carry one one now what is the present value of a a value is double one double zero okay next what is the value of q q value is zero one zero zero one zero zero one zero and what is the value of q minus one q minus one value is q minus one value is one now after that i have to perform the automatic right shift operation this one will come here 1 1 0 0 0 1 0 so the final value is this is the final value triple 1 0 you just write down these values now the count value will be set to 0 the value will be triple 1 0 this is the a value next double 0 1 and this is the value is last value of q minus 1 is 0 just you write down the value of 0 now this is the final operation i have stopped i will stop up to this one now i have reached the count value as 0 so i will stop the process